the title of best in the area is a tough one to carry, but if there's any place to prove it, this is the one. Today we find ourselves in Columbus, Ohio for the Side Decks Regional Qualifier. This is actually the first regional qualifier that I've attended in two years. Back at the uh, Philadelphia Convention Center today, but today is the competitive debut at Philadelphia Regionals here. Um, I don't know, hopefully we can do okay. Now typically it's these regional qualifiers that determine who attends the national championship later on in the year. But with 2022, things are a little bit different. With COVID, they canceled this year's national championship. So the stakes are kind of unknown. Are we looking to 2023? I don't think anybody knows. Regardless, a regional qualifier is the definitive place to test your metal against people in the surrounding area. You could be good locally. That's fine and dandy and all. But when you stack up against hundreds of other players, there's bound to be somebody better than you. Coming off on a hot win with our VIP qualifier. Well, God, I have a gauge. It all comes down to this. There's no snow in sight. <laughs> Oh, you have one. <laughs> <laughs> Good games, Griffin. I'm looking to double up that success here today. We're going to be piloting the same deck that we did last week, and that is going to be my Rose Adventurer deck. I had a lot of people asking about the list. Let me take a minute to show you guys what we're working with. All right, very quickly, for documentation purposes, I'm going to give you guys the deck profile. So if anybody's looking back in time, they can see what the format was like back then. You want to learn more about the deck? Too bad, you better go look it up. Three Red Rose Dragon, one Rocks Rose, three Tenny Spirit Vashuda, three Water Enchantress of the Temple, and one Wandering Griffin Rider. One of you are playing Dasher Celestial for the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, Scythe, Fairytale Snow, Mare Mare, and Token Collector. Hand Traps are playing three Nib, three Bell, three Ogre, three Ash. Spell Count, Triple Prosperity, Triple Rite of a Remesir, one Fateful Adventure, and one Draco Back. Double Fusion Destiny, a Basil Rose Shoe, a Foolish Barrel, and a Called by the Grave. The last trap in the deck is just triple infinite and permanence, also counting as a hand trap, I guess. Extra deck synchros, you're playing Baron to Flirt, Black Rose Dragon, Shooting Riser, Yazi, and Herald of the Arc Light. Lynx are playing Access Code Talker, Nightmare Unicorn, Christian Hawk of Fibrax, Lina and Dark, Verte Anaconda, Dagda, Monk, and Link Spider. And then also you're playing the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. And then for this event in particular, triple Droll and Lockbird and a Necrolord Banshee, triple Cosmic Cyclone and Zombie World, triple D Barrier, triple Anti Spell Fragrance, and a Red Reboot. Right, enough about the little cards. Let's get back into action. First things first is uh, I've been playing with these grimy sleeves for like the last three weeks. Should probably change those. Good. We found our fun. Crew's ready for today? Absolutely. Oh, oh my goodness. Dan, this is like one of your first regionals, right? This is my third regional. Third regional? Oh, yeah, what do I know what I'm talking about? Josh? <laughs> Fifth. Fifth? Oh my goodness, dude. I've been around the block for a little bit, but I'm stoked to play in Columbus today. We got our packs. Let's see what we get today. Anything gonna, we gotta get anything lucky. The Dynamorphia stuff's actually like popping now. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what we do. <laughs> Make sure you check the last card too. It could be a dark magician. I didn't forget that too. Ooh. <laughs> Josh, I think you took all my good packs, man. That's not fair. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Typical. That's for you. Dan, you got one left. Dude, I got a whole I got a whole stack, dude. One, two, three, four, five. Pack tricks. Oh. Bam. Oh, oh, secret. Not a very good one. <laughs> we got one. Not a good one. Yeah, it, uh, it's like three bucks. So financially good. speaking. What, what, financially. Did you, what did you pull? Uh, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Sitting across from the opponent round one. He looks a little intimidating. We might have to work for this one. Mackenzie. Are you ready to play today, dude? I'm ready to go, How man. long was your trip? Uh, it was about an hour and a half. Well, that's not too bad, man. How many regionals have you been to before this one? Uh, well, it's been a bit of a gap, but I've been to probably five or six of them total. Okay, okay, dang. Well, it's the first one in like two years for me. It's been a minute because of COVID and everything, but I'm stoked. I'm also stoked to take you out round one, bro. I'm sorry, man. You're sitting across from the wrong guy. <laughs> Good luck, Mackenzie. I will see how it goes. <laughs> I was at like 508 and you can go next to the Just so that everyone is aware, rounds are 40 minutes long.
energy's a bit off. Uh, I ended up forgetting my field setter at home, actually. Big integral part of the setup, you know? Gotta stay uh, locked in with that. But we did end up winning round one against uh, Alistair. I ended up hand trapping his Gamma game one and going full combo underneath it with Baron. And then game two, hit him with an Ash on his Alistair. Bell and the Nadir Servant, curtains, good night. So feeling pretty good. Uh, we're just gonna hop steadily into game two, actually. It was nice to take a little break there, but uh, tons more rounds to go. Nine to be exact. Let's get in there. It's already been a weird day. I'm talking to this guy here. GGYGO, what a stud, man. We're just talking about how strange our matchups have been, dude. What did you play? You were just telling me about the wackiest matchup you played. Yeah. Uh, 60 card Abyss Actor Dragon. Go, uh, what, what, what the fuck is that? Well, so, yeah. How did it go? Did you, did you, did you win? So I ended up losing in time. Uh, game one was really drawn out, and he ended up summoning an IP and then went into Avermax. And I'm playing striker cards, so that does not get an outed. So. I know how that goes. You can't out anything like that, dude. I just played against what I play against. It was water control. I got deep sea silicanth. Can you believe it? The guy summoned a whole board, and he ended on Toad Baron. That was it. I was astounded. I was like, you could probably do more with that, right? Nope. <laughs> but it, no, he didn't do it. He was supposed to do like barrier statue and stuff, but he didn't. Nice. But you know, it is what it is. So what are you now? What's your record? Uh, X21. Oh my, I'm X2 though. So we're both not doing too hard, Yeah, it's dude. been quite the day. I love these field centers, but I'm an animal and I open them. So I don't think I have the will to buy that. That's the one I need. It's, that one right there. Which one? That one. You like the Dark Lord? I run Dark Lord. What? what? You have Reaper and Bell. Okay, if this was the, the Condemned, what's her name, the Link one, I would buy it way over this one. But this is the only one we have right now. What, what kind of deal can you cut me on this uh, this Reaper here? I'm eyeing it up. Can I get a closer look at it? Yeah. I love a man with good taste. Dylan is my round, are we in five? What are we in? Uh, yeah, five. I think five, Dylan's my round five opponent. Bro, I was just talking to this guy before. Good thing I didn't give him any info. He doesn't deserve any. But Dylan, how are you doing, bud? How's your event going? Pretty good, man, how's yours? Oh, it's going great, man. How many regionals have you been to? You been playing for a while? Yeah, I've been playing since 2014. Oh my goodness, all right, so it looks like I got to work for this win, huh? Well, <laughs> I just started playing again like a week ago, so we'll see. <laughs> Fun fact about Dylan, he was just telling me, I've had this map for a minute, and I swapped a different world ground for it, and it ended up in his hand. Could you believe that? That's crazy. Kind of wild. Small world, dude. Small world. Not the card. Not the card. Right. Uh, I don't know how we did it, but we managed to bring it back. Not not by much. Uh, we're only halfway through the tournament. And around five, we are free two now. Not definitely out of the water. Still a long way to go. But uh, I managed to win a game against Kragen Control with Super Deep Sea Seal Camp. One of my favorite cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. I actually got to see that card resolve, man. He sure did summon four fishes and then on Baron and Toad. And that's about it. Luckily, we dodged the Gozen match, so I didn't have to like auto lose to that. Managed to take that one down and then I got a run back against Flunder there, as you saw against Dylan, and we managed to take it down versus him. Ooh, Dylan, if you're watching this, bro, I bet you feel salty. He ran into Nib Imperm with Flunder. How's that even possible? Well, he went Empen and then Mist Valley. And then I hit him with the, what, the Imperm and the Nib. Good night. Goodbye. So it ended up okay. Um, still got a lot to go here. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, just got to keep grinding and see if we can uh, win a couple more. Again, it's low stakes today, so I'm not like expecting to do well. If anything, I'm just here to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm, nothing more I could ask for, right? We'll hop into the next one, and I'll keep you guys posted on how we do. by your heart. Yeah. Mashuda. And we're not familiar with that does? Uh, if I control a non-effect monster, I can banish it from my graveyard to target a card and bounce it back to him. I'll target your window. I'll activate Faithful Adventure in response to the summon. I'll activate Faithful Adventure. Activate. Red Rose Dragon, Frox Rose. Baron the Plural, target face down. Destroy it. Destroy it. Yazi effect, I'll pop Makaba. Yazi effect. Mare Mare. I'll link off the Mare Mare and one of the tokens. Talk of Fibrax. Spider. 
Throw shoot. Cut up. And turn, go. Yeah, stand by. Uh, Phoenix Enforcer. Okay. I'll pop himself in your magical meltdown. And I'll activate Phoenix Enforcer. Here's your effect song. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Not just Sure. Fuck you know what? Yeah. Uh, see ya. Attempt to enter battle. Sure. Lily's attacking to clarify the move on him. Past turn. Troth. Okay. Bring back DP. Main phase. Summon. Does he have, you have the other guys in here? Yeah. And yeah, so we're going to lose 200. Free play! You go players! Free play! Good game. Good game. Good game. Never can leave an event without some nice cardboard. I, I'm just trying to look at the bright side. It's uh, It's been a weird event. In a little bit more of a peaceful area, so you can probably assume how the record's gone. Uh, we ended up dropping from the regional. The last game we played against was Invoke Shadal. Made it all the way to a game three, and we lost in time limit. I ended up breaking an entire full-fledged board. Breaking through it with a mediocre hand. I felt like a god. But paying 2000 off of Prada Plant Verte Anaconda, it never hurt so bad. Not upset though, I, I'm really, really happy with how I played. I think Dan captured the exact moment that I ended up losing the match. Gutted, man. I really think I played that crazy. Even if you don't do well in tournament, there's always a bright side to the event though. I got to see a lot of old friends from Columbus here, a lot of friends back from when I worked with ARG. Only real ones know that. And of course, man, I got to see a lot of tournament grinders show up too and everything. I know there's a YCS overseas this weekend, but it's nice to see a lot of people getting out just locally to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, a lot of my friends locally from Pittsburgh back at Top Deck, of course they came out here and they got to run the tournament grind as well. I'm pretty sure almost all of us did really bad. Pittsburgh did not have a good showing this weekend. As far as the content crew, Dan is still in with an X2-1 record and Josh is out with an X3 record as well. Yeah, it's been, it's been a rough showing. Despite results, man, Never regret getting out of the house to play some cards. I always like talking to people that it's their first regional, especially coming out of COVID, being in person, there really isn't anything like it. Master Duel has attracted a huge new audience to Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm excited to see it flourish all around. Anybody that came up to me, thank you for saying hello. It was great to meet you all. It's especially good to always meet that guy, GGYGO, bro. I always bump into him at events, bro. One of these days, one of these days, Gary, we're gonna collab. Mark my words, I'm rambling. I don't think I got much else to say. I gotta put these in the binders. I'll catch you guys next time.